Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of How I Paint. And today we're going to be going... We're going to be going... <laughs> we're going to be going over a new landscape. This time I decided to paint a kind of wintry feel. But I wanted something that was still kind of like daytime and wasn't so cold. I did a lot of research in, into like a winter scene and the winter scenes were all kind of cold and like boring. I didn't want it to seem like um, stoic or, or, or too cold or not inviting. Maybe I, I went too far. Maybe it's too warm, but screw it. So let's just jump right in. In this one, I went back to the technique I used for, which one was that? I think the trail. The trail and the, and the second one, the, um, the, 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 what do you call it? The other, the, the one with the lip, lily pads in the water. Anyway, uh, it, where I started with the grays first and then came with the color later and, you know, as I, I was doing this, I was like, oh, alright, this is kind of cool. But then I started to feel like, you know, this 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 piece had a lot of complexity, a lot of branches and a lot of subtleties of color. And, you know, I have a very I have a slight color blindness. So like there's certain there's a certain range of colors I can't see. So leave it to me to want to be a painter, right? <laughs> so I don't I don't care. I'm going to do this. I'm going to learn it one way or another even if I have to, I have to overcompensate undercompensate and do whatever. I'll by hook or crook, I'm gonna learn how to be a goddamn painter. Excuse my language. If they've whatever. <laughs> so, um, a lot of the subtleties I are just completely lost to me. Like, and I started with a green when I actually started to put the colors in, and I wanted it to be brown, and I didn't realize it was green. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute, okay. Then I start doing the shadows, and the shadows are purple, and I'm like, but. I wanted them to be blue or at least have a bluish hint so it was like a gray put with a little bit of blue in it so it wasn't like dead i had to find that when you just put gray down without any kind of hue to it it, it just looks kind of flat or dead so any anyway whatever um you know I, I just i blocked in all the basics and stuff the background and the foreground and the midground and did all that stuff with the grays and and this time i went buck wild with the layers i mean <laughs> like i said sometimes i'll use a tonnage of layers and other times i'll just do it all on one layer just be, just depends on how it feels and because of how uncertain i felt in this one i was just like uh, uh maybe i should do that on another, on another layer maybe i should do it on another another layer <laughs> so i kept on doing that and, and like you know i'll put the Put the mid-tone on another layer or you know i'll come in with another highlight that'll be uh an overlay of the other one and it, it, i don't know it was just happy little trees everywhere <laughs> i i don't know I, I did the best that i could with this one um it was a real challenge i, I really had a hard time um i spent three solid hours on this on, on, on one night and then I'm like, damn, I gotta, I gotta come back to this. So I thought I was done. I just figured, all right, I'm done. And then I, I slept on it, and I came back, and then I, I looked at it again, and I'm like, eh, I'm not done. <laughs> so I went back in, and, and I was like, shit, you know, these colors aren't right. You know, the green, this, this green in the foreground, this green in the trees, and this green, it's green, it's green everywhere. And I'm like, oh, I mean, maybe it's okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it should be more brown. Should be more brown. Um, and I, I don't know. It was too yellow. It wasn't too yellow. Then I desaturated and resaturated, and I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And ultimately, I think that it was an interesting take. I'm gonna push myself to do this because I really. I really want to get better at this. I really want to be a painter. And, and landscapes by no means are my comfort zone. They're they're very difficult. And I, this is really the only, the third landscape I've ever done ever. And considering that fact, I think it's okay. 
I think it looks good to me. I'm happy with it. Ultimately, I was going for that kind of rough impressionist esque look, whatever. I don't know if it truly is impressionist, but I wanted it to look real enough that the, the light would read. Like when you looked at it, you say, oh, okay, the sun is hitting the trees in such a way, and you see the sun wash over the snow. And I don't think you really read the snow quite as much as I'd like, because it's a lot of yellow and green down there. And there's like this heavy green patch in the middle of the middle ground that kind of annoys me, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let it live because, you know, ultimately this is a milestone for me. It's another step in the evolution of my journey, so <laughs> I guess it's a way to look back at the roadmap and say, oh, I remember that, that kind of sucked. <laughs> Um, or, you know, this is how I was successful. I mean, I have to try to look at it like um, you have to celebrate your small wins and not focus on what you failed at. That's my general philosophy. Celebrate your small things, the things you feel like you did really well, and don't worry about whether or not you screwed it up. Or it could be this or that. Or by comparison to so-and-so, it could be... Nah, no. <laughs> The only comparison that you really should do is really to compare to yourself and whether or not you, you figured out something from this piece to the next piece. So you, you look back and you say, all right, four pieces have, have elapsed since the last time I tried a landscape. And then how, how, did, you, how did you do well this time? How, like, what did you learn between then and now? And, you know, you just let each piece be your your road marker basically so that you can learn from yourself rather than you know being like downing yourself like because oh, oh. i mean I, I i struggle with that i'm sure every artist struggles with that that sense of oh man it's not good enough or it has to be something more or you know i've seen other people create these master pieces that just blow my mind and I can't fathom how they're created and you know what everyone's path is different everyone's voice is different so we're all gonna come come at this artwork a different way and maybe it makes more sense to someone than someone else and maybe I confuse shit out of you <laughs> excuse me you know what whatever the case I mean Hopefully this this will help in some form of fashion or entertain whatever. But this this is my fumbly bumbly way of showing you how I do what I do, and I'm, I'm loving it. I mean, this this is like the first. This is a point in my life where I I'm truly creating art because I want to create art, and you know I I've had a professional career for many years, and and when you get into a habit of of creating art for someone else you kind of lose a bit of yourself and you kind of lose a bit of the creativity that comes from you freely to just imagine something and throw it down on paper you become more of like a machine and more of like a um, like a tool you're a mouse here click click and you they tell you oh you go over here and you know we i, I want to go over there no it's like <laughs> you you can't go over here no you go over there so whatever the case um, I don't know why I had that accent there. It was just, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I'm in a silly mood today. So, in any event, um, the the painting was was really fun. It was really challenging. It, it really kicked my butt all over town. And um, you know, I tried to build it up in, in layers. I've tried to to. I mean, I don't know if you can see it. You, there's a whole bunch of different layers, and I just overlaid certain colors. I used overlay, um, you know, for the color aspect of itself, uh, um, the coloring of the, the piece. I made that a color layer. So, you know, literally an, an effect in, in the layers panel at the very top. It says you know, nor normal by default in the little drop down menu, but. If you click on that and you bring it down the color, whatever colors you put on that is going to change, you know, your value grayscale into a color. So I just made one basic color layer like that and just kept on going over it. And then 
for certain areas for highlights and what have you. I just create another layer or or for shadows and create another layer and multiply if I had to or um, something to that effect. So anyway, I'm, I'm rambling forever. It's like forever long. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, you got any suggestions, if you got any, hey, I really would like to see you do blah, hit me up. Give me some some comments on the in the comments section below and please like f subscribe share with your friends do whatever i i really need your support and i really appreciate it so that was my knuckle <laughs> um so anyway I'll, I'll let you guys go for now and i'll catch you in the next one thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time